okay so in this lesson we are going to continue to discuss about how to solve first order differential equations now in the last method we learned the method called separation of variables where your differential equation is separable then you can use separation of variables so separation of variables is not a universal method you cannot solve any first order differential equation by separation of variables now we are going to learn a new method in this section and the good thing is that you don't need your differential equation to be separable but you need your differential equation to be in the first order but also you have you need your differential equation to be linear so if your differential equation is first order and linear we can use the method that we are going to learn in this section to solve linear first order differential equations okay so again it's not a universal method now let's recall what is a linear differential equation means so we can give the general representation of a linear differential equation first order so since it's first order you will only have first derivative linear we say linear with respect to y dependent variable so degree of the y term should be one degree of the derivative should be one which is here and if you want your differential equation to be linear your coefficient should be only functions of x only functions of independent variable and your right hand side function should be also only a function of independent variable which is x so then you have a linear differential equation so if you have a linear first order differential equation we are good in this lesson okay the starting point in this method is to convert your linear differential equation into standard form so what is standard form it's very important to learn standard form correctly because if you do not put your differential equation in standard form your whole process of solving the problem will be wrong okay so you will end up with wrong answer having a hard time solving the problem so it's very important and the first step is to convert your differential equation into standard form so what is the standard form means standard form very simple your first order linear differential equation should look like what I write here now notice standard form means coefficient of dy over dx look at here it's 1 right so coefficient of dy over dx should be one that's the one thing and the coefficient of y of course it should be only a function of x but we call it p and the right hand side function should be also a function of only x and we call it q so the standard form for linear differential equation really is having the coefficient as one for the derivative okay let's look at some examples x square dy over dx plus x plus 1 y x ex now is this in the standard form it's not right so what can we do to make it into the standard form well we can divide by x square so let's divide everything by x square so that's the secret look at the coefficient of dy over dx and divide by it of the whole equation then this cancel out and it happens to become 1 as the coefficient and here you get x plus 1 over x square y and here 1x cancel out so it becomes ex over x now what is p well my p is x plus 1 over x square so px is x plus 1 over x square only a function of x you don't take y into p by the definition p is only a function of x or the coefficient of y okay and my q is the right hand side it's ex over x okay let's finish the discussion by doing a one more important example we have the differential equation x dy over dx minus 4y now what is different here let's find out in a second 
Now here the coefficient is x, so we have to divide by x to make it 1, right? So we divide by x, okay, seems to be like the same thing like we did in the previous problem, x cancel out. So we get coefficient as 1 of d by over dx, here negative 4y over x, here another x cancel out, so this is sign x. Now the real question is what is p? p should be the coefficient of y. So what is the coefficient of y? Here the coefficient of y, someone can say, well, everything except y, right? Yeah, 4 over x. But is it really 4 over x? No, it's negative 4 over x, which is something that often students forget. Remember, you had plus here in the definition of the standard form. So if you have a negative here, that means that negative belongs to P, okay? So P is negative 4 over X. If you have plus here, it's just 4 over X. But if you have negative, you have to take that negative into account or take that into P. And Q, well, Q is pretty easy. It's sin X. So that is how we write the standard form of a differential equation and that is how we identify P and Q correctly. Okay, right, thank you.